Good morning, my dear students. I hope you all are doing good. Today, we will start our third term syllabus 2020 with General Science Chapter 9, Work and Energy. In this chapter, we will be learning about work and energy and we will be focusing on these four objectives. Number one, meaning of work. Number two, energy. Number three, renewable and non-renewable energy. Number four, difference between work and energy. Number one, meaning of work. Work is said to be done when force applied on an object causes it to move through a distance in the direction of the force. For example, when we pull or push a box, it moves in the direction where we apply force. When the box, when the box moves, we can say that work is done. But if the box does not move in the direction of force apply, work is not done. For example, a man carrying a suitcase and standing at a place. Number two, energy. Energy is the ability or the capacity to do work. We need energy to do various activities like studying, running, playing and other daily activities. We can do work only if we have energy in our body. There are different types of energy which help us in doing work. Number one, mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy possessed by bodies due to their motion or position. For example, when we hit a nail with hammer, we are using mechanical energy. Now number two, electrical energy. Electrical energy comes from electric power plants. We use it to run electrical appliance and at home, offices, industries, etc. Fan, television, oven, heater, refrigerator are run by electrical energy. Number three, heat energy. We get heat energy from the sun, from burning coal, wood, petrol and electrical heater. Heat energy is very important for us to cook food, to warm our houses and also for plants growth. Number four, light energy. Light or luminous energy help us to see objects and things around us. Sun, candle, bulb, tube light and LED are the different source of energy. Number five, wind energy. We get wind energy from moving air. Wind energy is used for generating energy. Number six, solar energy. Energy that we get from the sun is called solar energy. Solar energy supports life on earth. It is important for plants growth and human health. Solar energy is used in solar cookers and solar cells. It is also used to generate electricity. Number seven, hydro energy. Energy we obtain from moving water is called hydro energy. In olden days, people used water mills to grind the grains. Now hydro energy is used for producing energy by building dams in rivers. Renewable and non-renewable energy. Renewable energy. Energy is divided into two forms. Number one, renewable energy. Students, let us first discuss about renewable energy. This energy can be used again and again. We get renewable energy from the sun, wind and water. These are natural energy and can be replenished over a relatively short period of time. It provides us with energy for a long time. Now, number two, non-renewable energy. It cannot be used again and again. Sources of non-renewable energy are limited and it takes millions of years for its formation. Coal and petrol are non-renewable energy. They can be exhausted. Therefore, non-renewable energy shown 
should be used judiciously. Number four, difference between work and energy. Work is done when the force applied on an object causes it to move through a distance in the direction of the force and to apply force to move on a, an object we need energy. So, therefore, energy is the ability to do work. The more energy we have, the more work we will be able to do. Students, I hope you understood today's lesson. Please do visit the school website and take notes from this chapter. Stay home. Stay safe. Take care of yourself. Thank you.